Hey, baby, respond to me now. I've been standing here talking to you for over 30 minutes now. Still not every word from you. Respond now. All I just want from you is for you to be my baby girl and nothing else. Okay, let's do it this way. What's your name? As you can see, I have serious lectures to attend to. But look at me, I'm standing here talking to you like this. Respond now. Okay, My name is Arnold. My friends call me Anne the Butcher. As you can see, I'm a real bad boy around campus. We run things here. All I just want you to do is for you to just hook up with me. And you'll be covered 247. You'll be protected on this campus because we run things here. Nothing they happen. Hmm? Baby, I'm talking to you. Why don't you listen to me? Put him in the boot. Hey! Did your boyfriend? I said, do you know him? I said, I said no. He, he's just striking me. I only met him not less than 20 minutes ago, right here. I see. I guess you're new on this campus. Well, let me warn you. You better be careful the kind of company you keep in the school. Else you get yourself into serious trouble. Is that clear? Yes. You know, I've heard a lot about you. Are you serious? Yes. Your father is very, very proud of you, and so am I. Thank you, sir. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Um, anyway, uh, that's by the way. Did I tell you that um, you brought a lot of computers with uh, its accessories? Did I? Yes, 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 you did. Oh, you did. Oh. <laughs> so he's a computer analyst based in Sweden. And um, you have been traveling around the country, I hear. Yeah, yeah I, I have market my computers are keeping with well done. Thank you, sir. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, Collins. This is uh, Chief Ide Ugumba. He is um, a worthy business uh, ally. All right? He is uh, into all sorts of uh, businesses. Name it. He's a timber merchant, and um, he's a, a man you must know. Wow, they are the movers and shakers of this <laughs> It's my great pleasure to yes, be here, sir. It is indeed my pleasure. Thank you, sir. Nice to meet Thank you. you. And I hope to do business with you. Oh, you will do business. Yes. Thank you, sir. Yes. Oh, Such a lovely place you've got in here. Thank you very much. You haven't seen anything. You haven't seen anything. kidnapped today in school. What? Yes. I was having a drink immediately after my last lectures. 
Then some guy like that came to chat me up. He looked more like a tout. He was going on and on about how much he loves me and how much he wants me to be his girlfriend. As usual, I ignored him. Then all of a sudden, a car screeched to a halt in front of me. Six mean-looking guys, fully armed, pounced on this guy and dragged him into the car. God, Daddy, I was so scared. Then some, one of the guys asked me if I was his girlfriend. I told him no, I was not. He screamed at me, insisting on the question. And I still told him no, that I was not his girlfriend. Then he just left with his colleagues, telling me that I should mind the kind of company I kept in school. <sighs> Daddy, I was so scared. I almost fainted. <coughs> and I came home immediately after that. So who are these guys? Exactly. Who are they? I don't know, sir. God. This will happen in Nigeria University. You know, it is appalling. How our universities are turning, turning to military rebel camps every day. Can you imagine? <laughs> Must we all send our children abroad to school? Can they have quality and safe education here in their own country? Honestly, it's unimaginable. It's, it's terrible. <laughs> it's a terrible thing. Yeah? But what can we do? Uh, we thank God you are saved, my dear daughter. Adam, madam. Yes, daddy. Don't worry. If you cannot cope, tell me. I'll get you a school abroad. Okay. Yes. So, Daddy. Now, to more pleasant things. You know Chief, of course. Yes, I know him. <laughs> and this is Collins, his son. Graduated from Sweden, now a businessman, and uh, quite a very successful one, too. Pleasure to meet you. Amanda. Pleasure is so all mine. Nice meeting you. So, Daddy, I'll be in my room. Yes, 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 my dear. Go and have some rest. Okay. Children of uh, nowadays, they grow so rapidly. Look at Amanda of yesterday. I almost couldn't recognize her. <laughs> yes. You know, they have uh, access to good food and luxury things that we didn't enjoy when we were growing up in the village. He did. Look, look at him. <laughs> ah, as we always pray, may our children be bigger than we are. Guys, it's lunch time. It's about time we go get some food. All right, man. Look at these bandits. Kenneth and his gang. Let's go get them.
those guys over there? Are they campus policemen, secret cult or what? Which guys? The ones over there with the Pontia. They keep chasing people and catching them. Oh. They are the campus anti cult group. The vice chancellor ordered them to combat cultism. So, who's that one on dreadnoughts? Brian. He's their leader. A tough guy. Really? Sure. So when do they have time to read their books? They are not students. They are ex-students. Graduates of physical and health education. For where? Brian studied political science. Hmm. What a way to practice political science. Come <laughs> <girl. Let's laughs> on. I don't know him. Shut up! Oh, sorry, sorry. I said, do you know him? I, 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 don't, I don't know him. I, I just met him. I, I don't know him. I, I don't know him. Please. You better be careful on this campus, okay? I, 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 I'm good. We have a business to right. discuss. Exactly. Mm. Right. And we know that you, uh, little children, would like to discuss young uh, people yeah, privately. Uh, talk, yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you don't have to go. We are fine. <laughs> Aren't we, Amanda? Yes, I am. Oh, no, 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 no. It's only proper that um, we allow both of you some minutes to exactly. discuss. All right? Yeah. Look. Tell me more about yourself. I, uh, I hate to talk about myself. Hate? What's so horrible about you that you hate to talk about? Uh, not really. I just prefer people knowing me gradually and tell you in the room. Hmm. That's good to hear too. Jeez. 
So what are you going to do after school? You going to travel now? Are you going to stay behind? Well, um, I don't think I would like to travel this time. Maybe I'll start working in my father's company. Oh, a family business? Yeah, something like that. That's something nice. Like so how was your day? Well, fine. Stressed up, and he has worked so hard, you know, something. Um, you need to go home and have some rest. Not so coming. It's okay, don't bother about me. I'm, I'm just fine. Okay. I think it's the wine. I had too much of it. Okay. Well, I think uh, you, you, you should have another glass. It will neutralize the first one. <laughs> and make you feel fresh. Maybe it's not true. <laughs> well, no. it is true, my dear. <laughs> Tell me, did Amanda tell you how much she adores children? Really? You do, don't you, my dear? <laughs> that makes both of you, Collins. Collins loves children so much. Now, Collins, go ahead and tell Amanda how you used to sneak into our neighbor's uh, premises just to watch their kids play. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, right. Come on, don't stop me. Yes, I'm listening. <laughs> Actually, it's been quite a long time now, so I can't really remember details, actually. <laughs> okay, anyway, don't worry about that. Don't bother. <laughs> uh, Amanda, how about dinner tonight? I'll make the meals myself. Well, um, really, that would be nice. <laughs> but, honestly, I have um, an assignment to submit tomorrow, and I'll have to do it tonight. with the house thing. I don't know, I didn't hear from you again. Eh? Have you gotten a house yet? You know I really need this house. And I told you I don't want to be coming to school from that house. Eh? I find it so difficult, the traffic jams and all that. And my house is very far. See, just save me the long stories, okay? The long and short of the whole thing is that the house is not ready yet. You know this renovation of a thing. I mean, feeling, the painting, and just try to understand. Casey, you've been telling me all the stories for the past one month. Please come out straight with me. If there is no house, tell me. Are you getting me a house or not? Look, there is a house for you, Mr. Man. There is a house. I mean, two big, two room safe apartments at the staff quarters. And it's just for you. I'm doing it for you. Why all this doubting? All right. Um, when can I have the key so that I can move in? You know matriculation is fast approaching and I have not settled down yet. Uh, you see, Amanda, you know, I don't know when the renovation of a thing is going to end. 
you know, okay, maybe, let me see, two, three months, yeah, just give me two or three months time. Two months? Casey, the first time you told me to give you two weeks, then one month, now and again you're telling me to give you two or three months. Casey, what is all this? In fact, please return my money. Did I hear you right? Yes, you heard me. I said return my money. Did you just shout at me? Amanda, did you just shout at me? Casey, me, Casey. Did you just shout at me, Amanda? boys would like to take a ride with you. Get inside the car. A ride? Yeah, get inside. Information reaching our headquarters. Have it that you had the guts to demand your money back from Casey. Not so. Casey of all people. Let me even ask you. If Casey have given you the money, will you have collected it? The like say you want something bad to happen to you for this university. No be so. Is it a fear? Or do you want to lose your life? <laughs> Listen to me very carefully, my darling. That money is gone. Gone for good. So forget it. But if you try to be heady about it, I'm sorry. The hammer will have to fall. You won't. What to do? I 
don't feel safe anymore. Jesus Christ. What is this school turning into? His mother talked me into giving him the money. How stupid I was. I should have seen the house I was paying for and made sure that the transaction was genuine. But I didn't. How can Casey collect money from you? And still follow you with threats? Who does he think he is? Look, Amanda, you have to tell this to your father so that you can get him arrested and those foolish boys he sent to you. Arrested? Mm -hmm. Did I hear you say the police? I'm not ready to lose my life. I'm not ready. The police will arrest and release them. Then later they will come after me like wildfire. What do I do? Who's going to protect me? I'm not ready for that. All those boys are scared of police. I bet you. If you don't act fast, it will be worse. Look, Jessica. I don't want problems. I'm so scared. You remember the problem between Anita and Gentle? The next thing we saw was her dead body at the campus canteen. I don't want that to happen to me. Look, Jessica. I think I see reasons with her. Okay. Then, let's report to the campus and to Colt's group. Brian and his boys. Yeah. All I want is this situation to be established somewhere. For your own safety. I don't want trouble. I just hope this will not backfire. Live for me. I'll leave Casey. Let him take the money. Let him eat it. I don't need the money anymore. I'm so scared. I'm afraid. I don't know how I got myself into this. Amanda, I, I want you to help me solve a little problem. What's the nature of your problem? Um, there's this guy named Casey. I gave him some money to help me look for a house, but he's not been able to get the house for me. And I told him to refund the money and he refused. And he's been threatening me and he sent some boys to harass me the other day. And how much are we talking about? He said 40,000 naira per annum. And I gave him 80,000 Naira and 20,000 Naira for um, agents and agreements fee. You said his name is Casey? Yes. That name rings a bell. I think his face is familiar, isn't it? You know him? Don't worry. You go back to your hostel, we'll get your money for you. Um, you, you have to be very careful. He has boys. We love danger, okay? Just go home. Um, how can I see you to collect the money from you? You know it's dangerous to be seen with you here on campus because most guys hate you so much. And they, they could be very violent, you know, trying to harm me or something. So what do you want? 
Can I have your address? I'm sorry, that's not possible. We can't give you our address and nobody's supposed to know where we live. If you really want to meet us and collect your money, then come over to Kenneth's bar. We hang out there every Saturday evening. Okay, so Kenneth's bar then. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Try not to dress like this next time on campus, okay? It might put your life in danger. All right? Thank you. Um, guy. He's the same Casey guy, okay? We have an assignment this evening. We have to raid his, his room or wherever he stays. The same Casey, you know, this is about the first person that is reporting the same guy to us, okay? So later this evening, we'll check him out. That's all right. No problem. Brian has beaten more than he can chew this time. He must be taught a very long and bitter lesson. Imagine attacking our own bros in his own very domain. Who does he think he is? He thinks he is bulletproof. But he's wrong. Because I'm going to pump enough bullet in his system. Casey. We have to cut him down first. Then, plug off his eyes, one by one. No. I said, no. Leave Brian alone with his troubles. Let them take the money. No be money. This is not money. Let them take it. Look, after all, we still have enough in the future. So, let them take it. Take it. Should you allow him to go scot free? Are we cowards? Are we suddenly lost our balls overnight? I wonder. It is not called lost of balls or cowardice. It's called 
intelligence, pure intelligence by using your head. Look, Brian has a lot of things backing him up. The VC, the police, even his guys. And if we as much as tries to pull a strand of hair from his head. I'm in struggle. Because the school authority will not sleep. I mean, they will never sleep until they trace us to the last man. And you guys know what that means. So, I guess, in my own opinion, that we should ignore him. In order to stay alive. After all, there are plenty more guys on campus. You can make money. So my last word is, let's ignore him. What about Amanda? Get that started all this. Let her be too. Because Brian, we know that it's our handwork. If harm suddenly comes our way, So, let her be too. Hey, come on guys. I think I see a lot of sense in what Casey has just said. Let's drop it. I mean, let's forget it. Let's forget it. Your money. Hundred thousand naira, not a cobble missing. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. I know Casey did not just give you the money willingly. How did you get it? We spoke the only language that people like him understand. But Brian, is that safe? They might come after you and myself. You they can hardly touch. What about me? He's a very intelligent guy. He wouldn't dare do such a thing. Besides, I've already warned him that if anything should ever happen to you, you shall hold him responsible. When something must have happened to me, it's of no use holding anybody responsible. I don't want anything bad to happen to me on campus. Really. Holding Casey responsible will not bring back my eyes if they blind me, or my legs if they cripple me, or even my life if they kill me. 
Nobody's going to kill you. Besides, the anti cult group is watching everybody's back. Brian, I'm scared. Don't worry. We're right behind you and every other student, 247. Were you on your way home? Yes. You want to come with me? I think that's been a bit forward, young lady. I thought it was all about the money. Now you have the money. Uh, maybe some other time, okay? Okay. So, um, see you later then. Bye. Sorry, I interrupted your relaxation. It's just that um, I bought you a gift just to thank you for what you did for me the other day. A present? Yeah. But you already said thank you, and with that, I don't need the gift. Why not? Have I done anything wrong? Nothing. It's just that it's against our ethics to accept gifts from students that have helped one way or the other. Sorry. But it's from my heart. You, you did not force me to get it for you. It's just a token of my gratitude, that's all. Please accept the gift. You can go ahead and ask my guys, okay? I don't want to break our rules by accepting that gift. I'm truly sorry, it's against our ethics. Okay, I... I just guess I have to go then. But I have to tell you that I'm not happy at all. Wow. Thanks for dropping by and I'm sorry I can't accept that, okay? Alright. Good night. Good night. rejected the wristwatch I gave him as as a token of gratitude. Mm. It's even smarter than I thought. Meaning? Meaning that he has interest in something more expensive. My dear, in rejecting the, the wristwatch, I'm making you feel more indebted to him. You, you may, you may be pushed into giving him something more expensive. Oh no, Daddy. Brian is not a schemer. He has never thought of a thing like that, I'm sure. You see? You are rising to his defense already. He's beginning to make you be like him. 
Daddy, don't talk like that. Okay, if I say any other thing now, you, you say I'm defending him. Daddy, a young man was good to me. And like my other experiences, I shared it with you. Being my father and my only closest friend since mommy died. Daddy, I don't want you to have a wrong impression. Daddy, look. My matriculation is fast approaching. I want to introduce Brian to you on that day. Okay. Till then. Daddy, I'm sure you like him. He's a nice person. My dear, it doesn't matter whether I like him or not. He is nothing to us. No, Daddy, he is my friend. Somebody that helped me the time I needed, I needed help is my friend. And a friend to the family, not so. <laughs> <This is good. laughs> yes, I guess you're right. <laughs> now, tell me. What would you like as a matriculation gift? Daddy. Okay. <sighs> Let's see. What do I really want? I have almost everything. Okay, um, I want, um, good, I want, okay, yes, Daddy, I want you to be nice to Brian when I introduce him to you on the day of my matriculation. Is that what you want? Yes, Daddy. I mean, can I come in? Who showed you the way to my house? Well, you made it easier for me to find the way. You told me you hang out at Kenneth's bar most weekends. So all I did was to beg my dad to use one of his cars. And um, I came to Kenneth's bar. I parked across the road and I waited for you to come out. When you did, I followed you at a safe distance and you led me to your house. You followed me yesterday? Yes, I did. You were driving a milk colored Dustin Laurel? Yeah. That was my mother's first car. She drove it once in a while before she died. We hardly make use of it. No wonder. I saw the car parked across Kenneth's bar yesterday. You did? When I left, I saw it trailing me through my rear view mirror. I've even called my boys to investigate the car. The number plate is CG332GGE, isn't it? Accurate. God, you're a genius. I thought it was one of the cold boys following me. It was getting dark so I could hardly see the face of the driver. But I had nothing to worry about since I was fully armed. Like I said, I've told my boys to investigate the car. It wouldn't have been a problem for them to identify who the driver is or whosoever is behind him. And? Hand him over to the police. This is my third residence within the space of two years. Once my cover blows, I change my address. Are you disappointed that your little trick did not work? No, not at all. I, I just admire you. You're even better than a trained security dog. I beg your pardon. Is that an insult or a compliment? Oh, no, no, no. I'm so sorry. It's a compliment. And a well-deserved one at that. Thank you. You're welcome. So, can I come in? No. 
I have a meeting with the vice chancellor. You may leave now. So when can I come? Maybe tomorrow, next tomorrow, or better still, do not come at all. What exactly do you want from me? Nothing. I just want to thank you. That's all. You've already done that. And I said I do not need the wristwatch. But at least accept part of the money. You know, without you, I wouldn't have recovered the money. It is your money, so keep it. You still need to rent an apartment. I insist, Bren. Don't insist. <sighs> okay. My father wants to see you. Can you come with me tomorrow after lecture so that you can see him? You don't give up easily, do you? It's my father that wants to meet you, not me. I'll think about it. You may leave now. Okay. I'll see you later then. See ya. remember promising coming over to anybody's house. I don't want to see anybody, not even you, okay? I'm sorry about that. But, um, do I take it that you don't have regards for women? I have a lot of regards for women. Can I sit down? Please don't. Do you have a woman in your life? What has that question got to do with our present discussion? I'm not discussing with you. I only asked you a question. Do you have a woman in your life? Yes, I do. A lot of them. My mother, my sisters, my nieces. No, I mean, do you have a girlfriend? I don't have time for girlfriends. I'm a very busy man. I see. What do you see? <sighs> what I see is entirely my business, not so. Yes, entirely your business. Anyway, um, I think I should take my leave now. Thanks for spoiling my day.
Well, um, guys. I bought you guys some drinks. Mm. <laughs> Thanks, Emilia. That was thoughtful of you. No way. So, Brian here. I bought you ice cream. Thanks a million. See, my guys were all complaining of thirst before you came over. Right, we're so actually looking for someone to send to get, get us some drinks. But now that you brought some drinks, I think that problem is solved. Thanks a lot. No problem. So, um, I think I should take my leave now. So, I'll see you guys later. All right, then. Take care. Bye. She's a nice girl. Now, you said you. Hey. <laughs> Who's wife? Our wife, of course. Just look at that girl. Fine girl. With fine heart. Fine behavior. Man, them no plenty like this for this world, though. <laughs> Why don't you guys just mind your business and sip your drinks? <laughs> Hold the world where we see. If you want woman, don't be them food for campus, so make you begin to chase them now. They carry gone up and down. Joma. <laughs> Bruh. This one is not women, no. This is a well-bred, well-brought-up, decent chick. But now you know, boy, now better make a big house. girl to keep, boy. <laughs> so. Yeah. Back to life. my name and what are you doing here? I already know your name. Well, Alex, I want you to do something for me. What's that? You're the closest to Brian amongst his friends. I just like him as a friend. I want you to help me talk to him. I mean no harm. I just want him to be my friend, that's all. Help me do that. Brian? Brian is very difficult when it comes to relationships with women. Really? Yeah. But I'll try. Oh, thank you so much. I'll be grateful if you do this for me. Thank you. Um, what of joining me to dinner tonight at Sheraton? Dinner? Yes. Sheraton? Yes. Do I take your silence for a yes? All right, then, um, I'll meet you by 8 p.m. tonight. Do I come pick you up or something? Don't worry about that. Alright. See you there. Yeah. Sweet from you. <laughs> what is this guy? Oh, hey, God. Try. Don't mind them. Hey, the fire. The fire, yeah? That's true. Yeah. 
Jesus Christ! What is it? The letter we're supposed to submit to the VC this afternoon. I can't find it. I think I saw Alex going through it in your house this morning. Alex, do you have the letter with you? Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. I, I left it on your reading desk. For Christ's sake, how could you have done that? You know that letter is supposed to be on the VC table letters by this afternoon? I have to rush him and get it. We're coming with you. How could you have been this careless to leave this place here? So I've left the letter on the table. birthday Brian. Who told you it's my birthday? And how did you get into this place? Well, I got into the door. Besides, where your treasure is, there your heart goes. Thanks. But I hate surprises. <sighs> Guys, see me outside. What's going on? Now, whose idea was that? Honestly, I don't know. Can you guys swear to God that you don't know? Honestly, I don't know. Sorry, I... The girl is in love with you. Listen, I knew it was your this one. I'm sorry. Come on, the girl is in love with you. You know it. I'm sorry. Yes. Alice, how could, how could you do this? I knew it was you because you were the last person to live the house. Yes, I know. I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry. She loves you, you know. I don't want to hear anything about love. I'm sorry. Abound in this city, my dear Amanda. Spend just one hour with me in one of them, and I'll stop bothering you. Otherwise, you'll carry over my course. I mean it. It's not a threat, but I will definitely do it. Please, sir. Please, sir, I've worked so hard to pass your exams. I, I, I've read so much. Please don't do this to me. There is no sir in this matter. What about all the young, young boys I see you with? Me. Are they better than me? Sir, sir, I don't hang out with boys, so except maybe my classmates. I, I don't do such things. Listen, young lady, let me tell you. This is a university. In a university, Students and lecturers mix freely. 
they mix in different kind of ways. In the classroom, in their offices, in the lecturers' homes, and also in hotel rooms. Let's mix in a hotel room and you are already an A student in my course. Otherwise, if you refuse, too bad, you fail. Ever since I set my eyes on you in my class, I've always been having sleepless nights over you. Please go and think about it. Please, I'm begging you. Go and think about it. That's all. Please, I'm begging you. Yeah, Roma, you're wasting my time. for the past one week and he said if I don't sleep with him that he'll fail me. And what was your response? I told him I can't do a thing like that. That's... And I pleaded he should not fail me. But he won't listen. And he still wouldn't let you be? No, he won't. He's so mean, so mean and wicked. Well, I must tell you that you contributed to this harassment. How? I advised you the other time to stop dressing like this to campus, but you wouldn't listen. Well, leave him to us, we'll handle him. Please, I don't want you to go hassling him. It will increase the whole thing, I and mean, he'll, he'll fail me the more. Dr. Thompson, not so. Yes. We shall handle him the way people like him are being handled. What do you intend to do to him? Leave that to us, okay? Okay. Thank you so much. I think I'll I'll be going. some other things we did. <laughs> I am not usually in the habit of giving money out to students. Anyway, but I'll give it to you. Really? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, you are the best that I've had. before you come in here? My name is not my friend. You may call me Brian, the leader of the University anti cult Group. Shit. I taught lecturers don't use swear words. What do you want? Say it and get out. Of course, you should know that I am not a member of any secret cult, nor am I funding any secret cult or functioning as a patron. So, why are you here? I am here on account of one Miss Ugumba, a year one student of your department. Miss Ugumba? Never heard of her. What about her? I'm talking about Amanda. So, 
Sexual harassment is against the rules of this university. She said that? That I sexually harassed her? How dare she? She must have some guts. That's enough. Now listen. Denying it is out of the question. Because I already saw part of the harassment when I walked into your office. But let me warn you. Any more reports from any student of this department concerning harassment from you, then I'll face you personally. It's either you leave this office in shame or I'll resign as the leader of the University anti cult Group. No more harassment. No more threats to fail any student who passes your course. Abide by these rules and there shall be peace. Failure to abide, then this office will be too hot for you. Good day, Dr. Thompson. in school. Amanda, oh, she's fine. <laughs> she's coping well. Good. Well, as a matter of fact, she mentioned uh, uh, Brian, the leader of the university anti-cult group who has been protecting her and has been of tremendous help to her on campus. Mm. Oh, uh, a nice boy, she, she, she said. Mm. Yes. Mm. I hope uh, the boy just leaves it at uh, protecting her. Because I know my son, Collins. Collins will kill when he returns. <laughs> oh, I don't, I, I don't think there's anything to worry about. But I'll see him at Amanda's matriculation on Saturday. If he's harmless, then I will let him continue to protect her for Collins and the rest of us. Oh, yes. I hope so. Oh, we are going to jump. Hey, Yama. It's me, Amanda. Open the door. So you again? No. So, what are you doing out here by this time of the night? I've warned you times to that number that it's dangerous out here. Please, go home now before it's too late. I know, but I just want to spend some time with you. Besides, I can't go home now, and I told my dad I'll be coming back today. That I'll spend the night at the hostel. So why didn't you look for me to inform me while I was still in school? Right. I want to lay my bones beside you. Wake up in the morning to see your handsome face. And prepare your delicious meal to strengthen you for the day. That's all I want to do. Thanks for the offer, but I'm not interested. Please, just go home now. It's getting very late. Okay. It does. 
just what will make you happy. I'll go home. But at least allow me to prepare you breakfast tomorrow morning. Do I take your silence for yes? Okay then, um, I'll see you tomorrow then. only testing it. Why? You believe I think you put poison in the food? No, 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 not poison. Just to make sure that there's no love potion in it. Love potion? Yes. Do babes still do things like that? I don't know. I should ask you. You're a guy. How am I supposed to know? I don't even have a babe. So, what am I to you? Amanda. And? Pleased to meet you. <laughs> You're not serious. Just eat your food, okay? <sighs> wait, 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 wait. I want the other part of the meat. I mean, it's like you use the whole chicken to make the food. I, I like the wing, though. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your wish is my command. Now you're talking. Yeah. Mm. Um. You can join me. I was just joking. No, thank you. <laughs> oh. I'll just sit here and watch you eat. Oh. It's more fun, right? Yeah? Thank you. Hmm. You sure do cook very well. <laughs> I sure you don't want to join me. No. I see. I heard you want people to watch me eat without joining me. You just start getting used to it. I'm gonna get used to what? I don't think I'll be around all the time to get used to you watching me eat, you know? <laughs> I'm a very busy man, it's you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see how it goes. You sure you really made this food? All the cook in the house helped you make? Delicious meal like this. I'm sure I'm gonna be as heavy as fat Joe, you know.
see something. Let's get back into your car. Park this in this way like everybody else. Who are you? I said, who are you? Do you know whom you are talking to? Nonsense. The police were instructed to do this. Please. Get out. Imagine this man. Parked properly and he's screaming down the whole campus. Oh, well, sir, please. Um, you just have to do as you're told. I can say that uh, your mother has no sense. Because if she had any, she would have taught both of you how not to command your elders. That's an insult. By the way, who are you? Who are you to order me around? Telling me to do as I am told. That's an insult. Sorry about that. Um, I apologize on his behalf and on my behalf as well. But we're members of the University anti cold Group and our duty is to watch over your vehicles while you go into the hall for the matriculation. That is nonsense. I don't care to know who you are. I don't care. You can be whatever you like. But as if what your friend has done is not even enough. You are here ordering me around to do it. Who, who, who are you? Who are you? I'm sorry, sir. Please don't, don't, don't be annoyed. I'm very sorry, but please just tell your driver to park the car properly. We are not going to repack this car. Oh, yes. Go ahead and do whatever you want to do. Do it. Let me see you do that. Oh, well, go ahead and deflate the tires. Go ahead and deflate the tires. Let me see you do that. You dare me, sir? Who are you? Are you daring me? Get out! No sense. No, sir. We have plenty enough. I don't care to know whoever you are. But if this guy is not repacked right now, I'll have the tires deflated. You deflate my tires? You can't do that. Dare you me. can't deflate my tires. Why don't you just go, go ahead and Try it. me? Try it! Let me see you One, do it. Two. Nonsense. Three. Go ahead and defend that tire. Let me see you. Alex. Do that. Get me some nails. No problem. Ryan. Five. Chief, what is the matter? Look, look at these silly boys. Insulting me. Ordering me around. Can you imagine? Young man, what is the problem? Sir. He packed the vehicle, uh, you know, in a wrong way. We told him to pack it properly so that other vehicles can park. We've even been begging him to park, but he just wouldn't budge. So you insulted him? Oh, no, Daddy. I know Brian. He'll never do a thing wait, like wait, that. Wait, wait, wait. Amanda, is this the Brian? Oh, a totally disrespectful fellow. It's not true, sir. He's been very respectful. He has even begged him. But he's been shouting and cursing our mothers. Daddy, you see? Chief, let's go. Let's go, let's go. No, 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 let them deflate this tire. Let me see them do that. No, we shall revisit this issue. Oh, let's yes. Go. I will deal with you. Tell your driver I will park. deal with you, definitely. You Tell can't do anything. Huh? Brian, you wouldn't have done that. What did I do? He's my father's friend. I don't care if he's your father's friend. Hey, it's okay. Just calm down, all right? Amanda! Amanda! Yes, daddy, I'm coming. Don't worry, I'll see you later. Huh? He has no respect for himself. Go back, go back and teach your back. Go back. Go back. It's like everybody else. Hey, hey, go back and pack there. Come on, go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Hey. that I must tell you I am disappointed in no small measure. He helped you to recover money. Yes. Helped you to get rid of a lecherous lecturer off your back. Yes. Let it end. He was doing his job. But getting him introduced to me, buying him presents, visiting him at home. That's uncalled for. Totally uncalled for. You 
you're demeaning yourself with behaving like that. It makes it look as if you are desperately throwing yourself at him. That drama must stop. It must stop. Keep away from, from Brian. Study your books. Face them squarely. And graduate. When the time comes, and face your future. And if you must have a boyfriend like other normal girls, yes, that is uh, my friend's son, Collins. Now, here is a, a, a young man, handsome, respectful, successful. You don't want to have anything to do with the likes of Brian. He's a hustler whose life is in danger every second. Now, you want to cry? If the truth makes you then cry. Cry! But remember. Remember the truth in my words. I am your father. I will not deceive you. Go to bed. such as a brain does not deserve to be a member of the anti-court group and I suggest you investigate him thoroughly the way and manner he threatened me I strongly believe that he may be a member of the secret cult that he claims and pretends that he is combating you know they have their rival cults so it's possible he's even arresting members of the rival cults and some innocent uh, students who may have refused to give him money as he tries to extort money from them. No, Chief for me, I don't think so. You see, I carefully chose the anti cults myself based on recommendations and a thorough review of the activities both in and off campus and students. So you see, Brian's behavior leaves little to be desired. And I uh, was mightily surprised at your claim that uh, the boy was rude without justification. VC, do I investigate him and give you proof? <laughs> I'm afraid you will not find any proof of bad behavior. I'm a careful man. If he were to be like that, the school authority would not make him there to be in charge of the anti call squad. Mm. <laughs> you see, I quite agree with you that uh, I could be mistaken in my judgment. But do I go ahead to investigate him and give you proof? And that is if there is any. <laughs> that won't be necessary at all. You see, if I suspect Brian of any bad behavior, I will investigate him myself. Yes. Okay. Okay, then. It's all right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, get me the campus chief security officer immediately. Yes, thank you. Uh, chief Obi.
Criminal. Besides, I have the license to carry firearms. I'm the leader of the anti cult group in the university. Ah. Let's go. Move! I don't understand where this whole thing is coming from. I've never stolen before. You must hear this. Sultan are reverend fathers. Some are juju men. <laughs> Daddy, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to go back to my room. Of course, of course. Uh, uh, oh dear. She needs some sleep. Hello, Alex. Um, 
Mom, there's a little problem now. Are you aware that Brian was arrested earlier this morning? Yeah, I don't know. They're saying something about robbery or something. I didn't really get it. Alex, I think someone is trying to set him up. That's it. You guys should do something fast, okay? Where are you right now? Alright then, I'll be there in a jiffy. Just give me 10 minutes, okay? Bye. DPO. Did anyone identify him as a scene of any robbery? Because I am very sure of the young man in your in the custody. Yes, he is not a thief. I want to plead with you on his behalf. I will appreciate it if um, he is released. Yes. All right, all right, all right. I'll be there myself. I'm coming down. Yes, thank you. Alex. Sure. Do you suspect anything as regards his arrest? Because I strongly believe um, something is wrong somewhere. Sorry, you know, the day we bended words with Chief B. He threatened to deal with Brian. Mm. But that is not enough uh, reason for the frame-up for a um, uh, criminal offense. Anyway, uh, let's go and get his release first. Mm. So, so you, you don't have to bother yourself. Uh, you can send the chief security officer with me. <laughs> no, I need to be there myself. Mm? Brian is very, very important to me. I'm not going anywhere. In, in, in fact, Daddy, leave me alone. Leave me alone. You're no longer my friend. You don't love me anymore. You used to love me. Now, because of Chief Obi, you, you, don't, you no longer love me. You believe everything he tells you. Chief Obi, when he is right. And as for loving you, oh Amanda, I love you. I love you very, very much. In fact, I love you more now than I have ever loved you. I want the best for you. But you won't understand. Thank you. 
Hello. Hello, Amanda. It's me, Brian. Hi, baby. Yeah, I'm outside your gate. Sure, I've been released. Baby, it's a lie. All right, I'm waiting. Good. I'll be there right away. <laughs> Immediately. Look at you. You're not even properly dressed. Now get back inside. Now! Good evening, sir. Get inside quickly! Good evening, sir. You, sir. And you, young man, are you not supposed to be in a police cell who let you out? The VC came and released me, so they. they... They had no evidence against me. Now you listen to me, you pig. If I ever see you near Amanda again, I'll wrestle you to the ground. I promise you. Now get out of my front door. I said get out. Thank you, sir. to keep him in that cell. I want that boy to be rearrested. Get him rearrested. It is not going to be possible, Chief. Why? What do I say his offense is? It is not easy to keep an innocent man behind bars. Remember I have bosses. Who may want to know why so and so person is detained? I don't care. And may I remind you that you have been paid for this job? Get that boy behind bars. Get him behind bars for me. Do it! But even if I detain him, Chief, he will still be released. Because there will be no evidence to prosecute him. And if I keep arresting and releasing him without good reason, that boy is very, very intelligent. He might sue me in the law court. And that will make matters worse for me. Think of something. Meanwhile, think of something too. I'll do that, sir. Please let me be on my way, sir. Bye bye.
What's going on here? What are you doing here? Who sent you? Who invited you over? Calm down. I only came here to say hi. It's too dangerous for you out here. I've won the towns of number. One day you're going to put your life into serious danger. So why is this place like this? We should have a leave! Could you have ever believed that I hate you? Well, you may never understand until you listen to my song. Your song? Sing for me, please. Well, this song is based on a true life um, story. It all happened to me. Scatter me and my family, oh, oh, gay, to fear for gay. Oh, sister, oh, gay, why you dare to me so? Oh, sister, oh, gay, why you come to me so? I fell in love long time ago with a young girl named Sister, oh, gay. She's so beautiful, nice and lovely The kind of girl young boys love to marry No do no do no so we begin to plan you le, 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 To marry for church As we they make marriage plans they go As so get they make our own plans they go A plan number one not to kill my monkey Plan number two not to kill my dog Plan number three not to scatter me and my friends, yo. Oh, gay, now I for you. And so on and so forth. You have a nice voice. Oh, thanks for the compliment. Right. I'll love you forever. Well. So hard to believe. Not after all I've been through in the hands of women. But I'm willing to give you a chance. I knew my life will never be the same. The same. A good girl in love with a bad boy. A princess in love with the rest of men. Everybody says no, but I love you so. I'll live for you, I will die for you. Love is unstoppable, it's so unfrenchable. No matter, no matter what they do, I can't stop loving you. Love is unstoppable. It's so 
what he has taught you? You see it? You are now calling yourself a woman in the presence of your father. <laughs> How your mother will turn in her grave to hear you talk back to me like this. Now you are not going to go back to that school again. You are going to be locked in this house. Yes. Musa will not let you out, whether I am in or out. If he fails, not only will he lose his job, he will lose his life. Just as Brian, if I ever, ever hear that you have anything to do with him, I'll disown you and cut you off as my daughter. Now take this back to my room. And get out of my sight! Musa! Musa!
here. He wants to see you. Yes. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, my dear. How are you? I am. What's some beautiful dress for you from Sweden? I know you like it. Daddy, I'll be in my room. Aren't you going to sit down and have a talk with uh, Collins? Daddy, I have a slight headache. Collins, please excuse me. Sorry, no problem. She needs some rest. She needs some tired. She doesn't look happy. She okay? Well, I stopped her from going to school because she was being stupid. <coughs> now she's sulking. Don't worry, she'll be fine. What'd she do? Mm, nothing too serious. Um, girlish stuff, you oh, know? Okay, okay. Maybe gossiping, quarreling, and being just funny? <laughs> well, uh, it's still alright. I like the way the father handles her. I still believe in that old saying, spare the rod. Spoil the child. That's it, that's my son. <laughs> she'll yeah. get over it, she'll get over it. Yeah. She needs some time, she'll get over it. It's time. Good. Sugar baby, how are you fighting the colds now? You've always been my hero. Come and rescue me now. I've been locked up in the compound by my father. I can't go out. I can't even go to school. I can't see you. He'll soon go out. Please come and rescue me. one of the boys. Let's get him. Huh? What's wrong with you? What's the matter with you? You've not been your normal self. I'm fine, man. I'm fine, okay? Did I just hear you say you saw one of the boys you've been looking for? Yes, yes. It's too late. You just saw us now and ran away. <sighs> but what has been eating you up, man? You've not been yourself. Don't fool me, don't lie to me. Am I on the right? So what about her? She hasn't been to school the whole of this week. Her father won't let her come to school. I mean, just because of me. He won't even let her out of the house. I thought the whole thing was a joke when she called me about four days ago to complain about the situation. But now I know how dead serious her father is about the whole thing. Brian, 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 we can help. I mean, we can help. Let's just find a way and take her out of that house. No, man. I don't want it to be a crowd thing, okay? I'll do it myself. If you say so. Then well, let's go after the guy. Maybe we can still catch up with him.
Madam. What are you going to do? You can't, you can't jump the fence. Yes, I can go whatever it takes. We can, you could just force the gate man out of the gate. Listen, force or bribe, whatever it takes, okay? Are you willing to go now? Yes. Naira, if you give me those keys. How about that big power? Why don't give me a guy? Don't care that sack me. Walk, I don't finish. But I'm sorry, I don't die hungry. Pa, give me the keys. How about okay? But don't back up. Oh, 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 oh,
Nobody is going to kill Musa. I say so. Now come out. You said a man came here. Yes, Oga. What what does it look like? Oga, the man I big. I don't come. I don't buy no I don't pass. I don't enter. The man I big well well. I book him a chow. I get him for dada. Plenty. Dada. Yes, Oga. Where's Amanda? I don't call Amanda, I don't come out. Two of me, I go. And open the gate. Yes, Oga. Brian. Brian. This. This is between me and you. Thank God you're there, yes. Um, Amanda has been abducted by that criminal. Brian, yes. I want you to con contact your police friend immediately. Right.
Yeah, this is the chief security officer of the university. May I help you? What? Which brand? Kidnap? Oh. Please hang on. Hang on, please. Sergeant. Kufu. Yeah? Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, please, sir. Which police station? Thank you very much. I'll be there right away. Thank you. You see, the vice chancellor is not in the country now. When it comes to matters like this, I can handle them on his behalf. Uh, I'm sorry. We cannot release the young man on bail until we have concluded the investigations on the case leveled against him. Boggling, kidnap, assault, two of these are criminal offenses. But the PO, they are available offenses. I know. But until we conclude our investigations... You see, you can release this boy. Continue your investigations. Whenever you need him, I'll produce him. I understand what you're talking about. Until we have concluded the investigation, there's nothing I can do. Right? Well, DPO, if you continue to detain that boy, I'll be forced to take this matter to the State Police Commissioner. Have you come here to teach me my job in my office? And to threaten me? I will not take that from you. Better mind your words. No, no, I'm not come to threaten you. Neither am I here to teach you your job. But I think we can do the right thing. Eden. Once we can establish a case of kidnap against that young man, we can get rid of him and all his problems. Hmm. At least for 11 years, because that... That is the least jail sentence he can get for such an offense. Yes. Yes. But Amanda is the problem. Will she testify? She's beginning to make some, write some nonsense statement about love, uh, human rights, uh, freedom of movement, just for locking her in the compound. I know, either. But let that not bother you, because I had already told them to tear that uh, statement. What? Oh, yes. She will have to write another one. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. That irresponsible boy will not be left to go scot-free for no. such an offense. No. He insulted your integrity. He messed up with your personality. <sighs> mm. <sighs> Look at it. Jumping through your fence, beating and locking up here, get mad. Exactly. And uh, running away with your oh. body. Huh? I said it. I could be right. When I said that boy could be an arm robber. Oh, yes. He has to be tortured. Oh, yes. Yes, you see. Uh, this time, this boy is in deep trouble. Oh, yes. And I shall not relent <laughs> until he is properly punished. I like that. Meanwhile, uh, we can think of uh, coming up with a date. Let's fix a date for introduction of marriage rights between Collins and Amanda. Uh, yes, that way, Amanda will not know that she's a full-blown woman. And she will be more responsible. She will definitely cool down. You are quite right, my friend. Yeah. Name a date. Uh -huh. um. Yes. Um. Will 25th be okay? 25th. 20th. That's um, two weeks. Hmm. I will say 25th is okay. Then, <laughs> it's a date. It is. 
Agunechi Benkis is here. Soon, we will not only be business associates, but also in laws. Yes. Ugwebi Agunechi Benkis. Agunechi Benkis. Agunechi Benkis. To the premises, how did he kidnap you? Was he armed? Oh, yes, yeah, the security man said he had uh, a rod or a stick. Uh, sir, the question is for the lady. Let her answer it. Uh. Yes, sir. No, sir. Oh, you mean he was not armed? Yes. So, how come this issue of a uh, kidnap? I don't know. He kidnapped her. Oh. Just that she doesn't want to tell the truth. Dad! Why would I want to protect the person that kidnapped me if it's true? <laughs> uh, maybe you feel pity for him because we are detaining him here. No. <laughs> no. Okay. I love Brian DPO. He came to the house because I sent him a text message to come and help me escape. Escape? Escape from what? From my dad. He had me restricted in the compound for several days. Because he believes Brian to be bad company for me. And he didn't want us to keep seeing each other. I see. Can you repeat this in the law court? I can repeat it anywhere. Because it's the truth. Brian is being punished for what he did not do. He's innocent. Mm. Honestly, he is. Okay, I see. Uh, that will be alright for now. You can excuse us. You're welcome. Sir, it will be difficult for you to establish any case of adoption, kidnap, or any other against Brian in the law court. The evidence of your daughter will destroy any strong case you are making. So, what do you suggest? Uh, I think we should release him. Not so soon. I'll see what I can do about that. Thank you. Chief. Yes. We can't keep holding him. There is pressure from every angle. A lot of influential people, especially those he has helped their children on campus, are getting interested in this case. <sighs> Sergeant. Are there are no more charges you can level against this young man at least to retain him behind the bars until my son has paid the Amanda's head in marriage. I believe there are a lot of uh, charges you can level against him. Hmm? Well, uh, Sergeant, you don't seem to understand how much this marriage means to me. All right, I'll tell you. You see, uh, Ibe Ugumba 
is a worthy ally to have in business. His contacts are what made me rich today. That's the truth. And this marriage will make us in-laws and pave way for more business relationship. And the business relationship I am talking about here will give me more money and more success. Can you understand what I am talking about now? So I need you to do something. Get a boy retained in the cell. Okay? You can do you can do a lot of things for me now. I want my son Collins to marry Amanda. Period. Well, Chief. Yes. I will try my best. <laughs> I trust you. I know you can do better. But yes. I need more money to settle the DPO. I've explained things to him. That is why that young man is still behind bars. If not, we would have released him since. No money? Yes, Chief. No. No. I have spent a lot of money on this. I have given you a lot of money. I think I am prepared to have to bring out another couple on this matter. Please. Maybe after the marriage rights are concluded. Okay? But for now, I don't have any other couple on this matter. You can handle it. You can clean it up. Okay, Chief. There's no problem. Good. Let me see what I can do. Sergeant Kofu. Sure, sir. Oh, yes. Sir. Mm. Chief Obi has refused to ask something. I see. Sir. I'm just from this place now, sir. Is that so? Sir. Mm. Okay. In that case, release the boy. Yes, sir. I am beginning to think we are risking our job on that case. Release the boy. Yes, sir. And stop seeing Chief Obi. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Come for out. Sure, sir. Got you. the country. He gave some false excuses for his arrest, but he has just been released. So now he's outside. For Christ's sake. What did they say he did this time? Yeah, he was accused of uh, abduction of one Amanda, the first year student. But the guest statement in the police station did not involve him in any way. So she's just his girlfriend. I see. Did you say he's outside? Yes, sir. I will bring him in. Okay, sir. Yes. Good afternoon, sir. Oh, good afternoon. Uh, sit down. Sit down. Right. 
I want to assure you on this university ability to protect you. I will contact the State Commission of Police and let you know what is going on here. And every police that is involved in your arrests be duly queried so as to get to the root of this matter. Hmm? Or else it will continue to happen and your life will continually be in danger. Hmm? So ask my secretary to book an appointment with the Commissioner of Police so you don't have to worry, okay? Thank you very much, sir. Don't worry. It's our duty to protect you. So I'll get my secretary now. State headquarters. We have a mail of someone to the office of the state commission. Immediately. Immediately, sir. Sergeant Kofu for me. All right. Accept to see me. Yes, sir. and his people are coming for a traditional introduction where they will express their desire to marry you. Now, don't misbehave, otherwise I'll cut you off as my daughter. Daddy, please. Daddy, please don't do this to me. You say you love and care about how I feel. I don't want to get married now. Not Collins of all people. Daddy, I don't love him. Is it that customer in police cell you love? Arrested today, freed tomorrow. Arrested today, freed tomorrow. A felon, a criminal to the best of my knowledge. No. You must marry Colin. Yes. Love will come later. So you get dressed. That's 
is all I have to say. Let me have your telephone. Give me! What is it this time, Brian? I'm afraid all is not well with Amanda. I haven't heard from her all day. She even promised to come and see me when I called to tell her that I've been released. But I still haven't seen her. Maybe it's her dad again. I'm tired. I'm tired and sad. That's why I avoid this thing called love in the first place. But Amanda is still worth loving. Why not check her in the evening or you call her? I've called her line but her phone is switched off. Who knows, maybe the girl is, is, is sick and tired of the whole thing. And she's just looking for a way to avoid me. Relax, man. It's gonna be fine. All right? Relax. Relax, man. Relax.
Who among them is Chief Bubi? That is the man that has been paying me to arrest and free up Brian in order to tarnish his image before the society. He also paid me to accuse him of armed robbery. My friend, you are under arrest and you are following us to the station right now. meet you guys up much later. What date again? I know you want to go see Amanda. But with all due respect, you're not going anywhere. Because the moment you step out of this place, I'll find my way to you. I mean, you're beginning to give more time to this girl than our business. After all, we all have girlfriends. Have you gone nuts? Are you out of your mind? I never wanted a relationship in the first place. It was all your plus, Alex. If I hear one more word from you, you get me really upset. Bros, it's okay. It's okay. No, no, no. no okay. Everybody should get into the car. Let's go. No more dates. Get in.
I'm leaving for my new apartment in town. Sorry, I didn't tell you before now, but um, I have to go. Why are you going? There's plenty of room here. I'm going to, it's only two of us. Daddy, I know that. But um, I can't stay here any longer. I've realized you don't love me anymore. So I have to leave. And that is not true. It is not true at all. I love you. I love you very much. I love you more now than I've ever done. Everything I did, I did believing that it was in your interest. I was misled. That's why I kept apologizing to you. Somebody I thought was a friend. Please, don't go. I'm sorry, Daddy. I've made up my mind. I invited him. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Brian. I went to Brian yesterday, explained to him, and apologized. And then they invited him here today. Brian. Sir. You say you want her, she won't say she wants you. Take good care of her. She must never be hurt again. Is that clear? Yes, sir. This one is my daughter. My true daughter. She's very stubborn. <laughs> She's my daughter. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> no. Right. You are most welcome. Thank you, sir. You know, you both have what it takes to succeed. Don't let anyone come between you. This one, as I said, she's stubborn. <laughs> oh, God bless you both. Thank you too, sir. I'll live. 